Hello students, here we have problem number 45 from chapter 7. Uh, so I will give you time to read it. Okay, so now let me uh, draw the picture and show you how to solve such a problem. Uh, first of all, we have uh, the force is given in terms of F is equal uh, to y i vector plus x square j vector okay in newtons then we have a coordinate system so let me draw the coordinate system uh, this is our x this is our y suppose we want to go from here up to here okay this is five meter this is five meter so this coordinate let's make it a c this is origin o this is a okay so basically we want to find how much work was done when we moved it when we moved it from o to a and from a to c and we also have to find what is work done when we moved it from O to sorry guys from O to C. Okay. Uh, now let's first of all uh, understand a couple of things. First of all, we know that the the formula of the work is basically work is equal integral of f dr, right? Or you can say is equal f r cos theta now since we know that it's a dot product that means in the dot product i vector multiplied to the i vector is equal to j vector multiplied to the j vector is equal to the one but however if you multiply i vector to the j vector you will get a zero you might be asking why because the angle between them is cosine theta now cosine z theta so if it's zero degree it will give you one but however, the direction between force and the, and the distance, uh, the displacement is a 90 degree. If it's cosine 90 degree, that will give you zero. So that means direction of F and direction of the R. Okay, it's in the same direction. But however, in this case, this is if it's F, this is R. Okay, so this angle is 90 degree. Okay, so let's start then now. Uh, let's say that we want to uh, find the work done between O, A, C. Okay, uh, let's divide it into two parts, this one, which means work between O, A plus work between A, C. Okay, so the work done between O, A. Now, as we know that it's uh, the displacement is in X direction. Okay, so that means F D R has to be given in terms of F D X I vector. Okay, because moving in a positive X. So that means it's equal to, uh, now F is given in terms of 2 Y I vector plus X square J vector times D X I vector okay integral now we know that already that when you multiply i to i it will give you one so therefore we can say that's integral of 2 y dx okay now i to j gives you i multiplied to the j gives you zero so our x if you want to put the limits then it will be from 0, x is equal to initially 0, y is, uh, x final is equal to the 5, right? Now, if that's the case, then if you bring it from the integral, what you will get? You will get an uh, integral of 2y x limits, x initial is equal to 0, x final is equal to the 5. Now, are we have any values in the y direction? when we moved it from O to A. 
Now we know that we have only x values, but y value at this point is equal to zero. Correct? So therefore, if you plug the zero here, you will get it is a zero work or zero joules. Okay. Now what about from A to C? Now what about from A to C? Now the work done between A to C is equal again we will now start with f dr now since it's moving in a y direction we have to say the integral of f d y a j vector correct so now we have to plug the f our f was equal to 2y i vector plus x square a j vector then multiply to dy a j vector now uh, 2y i multiplied to j gives you 0 then j to j multiplied gives you 1 so therefore plus uh, x square d y correct now what are the limits so we know that the limits uh, at this position at this position at this position what we have we have y initial which is zero and at this point y final is equal to five right so that means y initial is five y final is equal to five correct so now once you bring out from the integral what we're going to have we're going to have uh, x square y the limits will be from okay this is zero so guys it should be from zero till the five now, our x here is equal to what at this point? Our x at this point is equal to 5. So that means uh, 5 squared. Then y final is 5. y initial is 0. So that means we're going to have uh, 125 joules. Then we can say that the work done between O... AC is equal to 0 plus 125 joules. So that means 125 joules. Okay. Now this is the part A. Uh, now, how much work is done when you moved it from O to C? Okay. Let's find it. Uh, the work done when you moved it from O to C is equal integer of f dr right then we also know that it's equal to f f now our dr is in terms of it's it given like uh 5i plus 5g right so that means uh you can write it down that it is 5 uh 5 okay so that means let me write it down dx dx i vector right plus d y a j vector okay okay dx i d plus d y j is equal now the force is equal uh, 2 y i vector plus x square a j vector multiplied this one is dx i vector plus dy a j vector okay now when you multiply these vectors uh, first of all let's multiply dy i to dx i which will give you a uh, 2y dx okay now, G, uh, x squared j multiplied dx i will give you 0. Then dy j multiplied 2y i will give you 0. And uh, x squared j multiplied dy j will give you plus x squared dy. Okay. Now, we shouldn't forget the, the integral. So, at the end, we're going to have dy dx plus 
x squared dy, right? Now, since we know that, uh, since we know that x is equal to y, which is five, right? That means we can say that if that's the case, then we can say that uh, integral of two y, right? Two y uh, dx, right? Two y. Okay, if you say this one, let's make it dx plus x square dx. Okay right so that means uh, that means if you put the limits from 0 to 5 because initially they moved it from 0 0 till 5 to 5 right so if that's the case then uh, okay now okay yeah since we said that x is equal to y we can also say that uh, this is also equal to x. So that means we can say that it's equal to uh, 2x plus x square dx. Okay. If that's the case, then what we're going to have it here? We're going to have. Uh, 2x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3, the value from 0 to 5. Okay, so let's do calculation. So 5 squared plus 5 cubed over 3. So let me do calculation. 5 squared plus 5 cubed divided by 3, which will give you 5. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that means uh, we're going to get a 66.7 joules. Now, as you can see, uh, when we moved it, uh from oac we got a warp of 125 joules but however we moved it from o to c we got 66.7 so that means if the work will depend on the pass then it is non-conservative force in order to have a conservative force the the path that is taken to do the work it should be it should be independent so that means when work done by the gravity that means the gravitational force is conservative so that means if you want to move from point a to c whether you move like this one whether you move like that one or that one then work will be the same but however, if work is non-conservative, then the work will depend on the path that is taken. Okay.